okay, I was like, casting disconnected. Fuck you mean by that? So let me let me go to the app store and we can see who, exactly what this game is about. <laughs> but I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm having a great Sunday. I hope everybody's having the same. But yeah, let's go see what this game is about. So this is the game right here. It's called My Child. I can't pronounce that L word, so I'm not going to try and butcher it. But basically, um, this is a story about me adopting a young lesbian. <laughs> I can't pronounce that word. I'm so sorry. Lebenzen born child in Norway after World War II. But parenting will be hard as your child grows up in a hostile and hateful environment. See a different side of the war. Inspired by the true stories of the L children, discover how hatred of our enemies continues to create big victims, even after victories. Uh, and yeah, it just looked like a really interesting game. And I mean, I don't, I don't know. They said it's a sad game, so I'm trying to figure out what the fuck we finna be sad about. They say it's about World War II. Baby, I ain't no historian, so excuse my lack of knowledge when it comes to all of this, man. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we just go we just gonna have to let that slide and and play the damn game. I'm here to play the game, man. I'm I'm the gamer. I'm not a historian. I'm not your social studies teacher. Don't don't come here looking for no World War II facts, cause I don't got them. <laughs> But yeah, this is the game right here. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hopefully the audio is good and everything like that. And we're gonna go ahead and start this new game. 1940, World War I. I said World War I, like I ain't even paying attention already. Okay, 1945, World War II ends and Norway is liberated. The nation celebrates, okay. Get a little history lesson in. 1945, after five years of occupation, the signs of the Nazi occupation can be scrubbed away. Okay, we love that. We love that. Freedom people. Three years later, you adopt a child. Okay, I got me a baby. Okay, let's see how this thing going. Thank you for taking care of Klaus. He cannot stay here. Okay, I could choose a boy or a girl. Okay. Uh, I can either got Kareen or Claus. Who should we do, Kareen or Claus? I wish I could do like a poll or something. Let me see if I can throw that up there real quick. I don't even <laughs> think I have the fucking time. Uh, I, I look here want to choose the girl because I'm a girl. But you know what I'm saying? Comment if you want me to choose the girl, Kareen, or comment if you want to go with Claus for this story. I'm leaning, I'm leaning more towards Kareen. So <laughs> I'm hoping y'all pick that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with Kareen. She, she seems pretty darn cool. All right, 1951, we see she was playing in the store. Snow, she done, she going to work. She had a birthday party. She finally had a first Christmas. Okay, she's happy. My daughter good. Hopefully, we will get her three tough times. All right, let's go. I'm home. Uh, what should we say? Hmm. Hey, did you have fun with Liv? Yeah. Yeah, we had so much fun. Liv is my best friend, okay? We got Kareen and her best friend, Liv. All right, what y'all do, what y'all do? We found this cool, kind of creepy looking tree stump in the forest. That's, that's interesting. It looked like there could be a treasure there, real treasure. But then it started to rain. But we guarded our treasure anyways, okay sis, period, as you should. Never lose sight of that monetary value, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kareen already smart, bro. Yeah, let me let me listen patiently, bro. Don't interrupt that bit. Don't interrupt her. She's telling a fucking story. Listen, that's what a lot of people don't do nowadays. And then, and then, and then, we found out the tree stump was empty. Yeah, I should have told that bitch to be quiet and go to bed. Because not the fuck you held me up for that story, Kareen. But it's okay. You my child and I love you. So, hey, bro, empty tree stuff. Hey, it was creepy. We found out it was empty. I love that for you. I love that you was safe, Kareen. And I'm glad you and Liv had a lot of fun. But maybe the trolls might put some treasure in there later, girl. I, I, don't, I don't know. Are you the troll? Because you don't live over treasure. <laughs> so we're going to go back and check later. All right. That's nice. Sounds like you and Liv had a fun time. Mm hmm Huh? Oh, it's kind of late. The sun's almost gone away already. 
All right, let's see time units. Progress through the day by spending your, ava your mm, avatar, your available time units. Certain actions cost time to perform. Time units are indicated in the top left, okay? We got that. Pressing the time unit icon will progress time with one unit. But you have to see this. Yo, 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 what is good, Nady? How are you doing? I hope you're having a great Sunday afternoon. I'm Takeda, welcome to the stream. We just playing a little bit of my child, you know what I'm saying? It's a World War II like simulation game. We taking care of my good sis, Kareem. She just telling us about her little story or whatever. She's showing me some things right now from her little treasure find. So what do I have to see, Kareem? Oh, oh shoot, Liv gave you a, it was your birthday tomorrow? I didn't even know. Happy, happy belated birthday, Kareem. Let's see what she, girl, yes, open that shit up. Open that shit up now, Kareen. <laughs> open that shit up now. Of Why not, girl? Of course you can. It's, it's the day before your birthday. Open that shit up. <laughs> You're so very welcome. Wow, we look. It's a ball. My very own ball. Wow. <laughs> Hey, that's a good gift. I'm glad Liv gave that to you. Now you and Liv have something to play with together now. That's awesome. I love that for you. I love that for you, girl. All right, new mail. You have received mail. Press the envelope to open it. It doesn't cost uh, any time. All right, bet. <laughs> Let's see what this new mail we got. Neighborhood Council. A cat has been seen eating flowers from the flower beds. We demand that the cat owner keeps it inside from now on. Damn. <laughs> Not you mad at the cat from doing natural cat things. Maybe it's the cat. I, I, I don't know why you mad at the cat. You know what I'm saying? Like on my trip, it's so funny. On my vacation, right? Like when I was coming back, I just came down. Uh, I was in Grenada visiting some family for a couple weeks. And um, bro, I sat next to a cat on a plane. This was the, the nicest cat I ever met in my life. This cat, only thing the cat did on the plane was meow the whole time. And the lady, she was so respectful. She didn't even take the cat out the bag, right? Because I done seen all the TikToks where they be having the cats all over the seats and shit. And I'd be like, I don't know if I want to sit next to a lady. And she got her cat running around the fucking plane like it's a fucking playpen. But the cat was very nice. He was very calm. He didn't complain. He didn't hiss or anything. You know what I'm saying? He was just in his little bag meowing the four-hour flight, which I understand because I wouldn't want to be entrapped in no bag either. <laughs> but yeah. But then when I went to baggage claim, why was there a badass dog? There was a badass dog on a leash in baggage claim, and that dog was just barking at everybody. Rawr, 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 rawr. I'm like, nigga, you need to take that dog outside. <laughs> Your dog is bad as fuck, and he, need, he needs to go. <laughs> So, listen, they don't need to be talking about that cat like this. I know cats can do some bad things sometimes, but this cat is doing what it's naturally supposed to be doing outside. So let that goddamn cat eat them goddamn flowers. You know what I'm saying? Let that cat out. I hope whoever cat it is, they let it stay outside. <laughs> All right, we got some newspapers. Let's see what that's about. What's that? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. What's good, Fernando? What's good, Fernando? Not they changed your name, but yeah, I, I'm back. I'm finally back from my little vacation or whatever. I had to get the little TikTok stream in, found this mobile game right here. So you know what I'm saying? Just want to check it out, do a little live real quick, and just test my system out. So I'm glad it's working great. Welcome back. <laughs> I hope you've been well, man. But let's continue. What's that? Oh, just grown-up stuff. Blech. Girl, don't, don't say that all about grown-up stuff, Kareem. You're going to be an adult one day. And when you're an adult, you're not going to be able to gag towards this stuff, okay? <laughs> you can't gag your bills. <laughs> I would know. You're, you're not going to the study, are you? It's so boring when you go in there. And you promised you'd give me a bath. Girl, you look about eight or nine. I did not promise you no damn bath. Girl, you, you, you're good yourself. <laughs> I got a bathe her too? Oh, listen, she's my child, so let me let me stop. <laughs> let me zip it up and, and take care of my goddamn child, okay? <laughs> Bathing. The tub is in the bathroom. It will clean Kareen and her clothes, but it costs a time unit. Okay, everything costs time. Are y'all saying I should bathe her now? Is that what she wants? Oh, I can tickle her. <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right, let's give her a bath. How we do that? All right, girl, in the bath. All right, do you think? 
scrub a dub dub blah 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 all right let's clean your hair out so is it time for dinner soon um yeah of course it is you know you played outside for a long time you got your bath in it's time for you to get up get changed and yeah we can go have some dinner is there anything you like specifically Find food in the kitchen. Kareem can eat as much as she feels like for one time unit. All right, bet. We done with the baths. All right, just gotta make sure you extra clean. Gotta make sure. Gotta get them scrubs in there. You know what I'm saying, girl? We didn't waste that time unit for no reason. All right, bet. Let's go. You all cleaned up. You ready to go? You want to look at yourself? All right. Nothing else to do in the bath. Let's go eat now. Sit at the table, girl. What, what we finna find? Got some grits. You got some cheese and toast this that this that struggle meal right here kareen kareen living a struggle life we struggling over here bro we ain't got a stove <laughs> she eating bread and cheese i got some more grits okay it's just bread and cheese and grits uh i wish it was uh she not that hungry so we don't eat this munch 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 uh we gonna give her one more because she mm, okay yeah yeah we're gonna give her one more here you go hundred fool thank you for my food i couldn't eat another bite kareen you are so welcome <sighs> it's really late now even the sun's gone to bed so sleepy must be bedtime sleeping it's late and it's time for kareen to go to bed reading a bedtime story or patting kareen will increase her comfort all right bet. let's do it okay let's do it Time to get in bed, sis. Ooh, I want to fall asleep right now. Then tomorrow we'll be here more quickly. That makes sense to me. <laughs> that makes sense to me, girl. Kareem, wait, hold on. Kareem was just complaining about how she don't she she don't want to deal with adult responsibilities. Now she want to wake up and be an adult tomorrow. Girl, you're going. You just got through World War II. Kareem, slow down. Go find Liv and go play with your ball tomorrow. Enjoy your ninth birthday. It's okay. You don't have to be an adult yet, Karina. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. You don't want to be a grown-up. I promise you. Fingers crossed, you don't want to be a grown-up. <laughs> you don't want to be a grown-up, Karen. Liv got three whole presents for her birthday. How many will I get? Um, you gonna get some good presents, girl. Don't, don't, don't count other people's blessings. Because their blessings are for them. And, and your blessings will come, Corinne, because you're a good person. Mm -mm -mm. You'll get some nice presents too, Corinne. Don't worry. Yay. I can't wait. <laughs> like, okay, Corinne, calm down now. Trust me, we're going to celebrate your, your birthday. We're, we're going to celebrate it. Do not worry. <laughs> Yay. I cannot wait. Yeah. How about you just focus on having fun, Corinne? Just focus on having fun. You're a kid, bro. You don't really need presents right now. Material things, you know. You just getting caught up in the moment. Live your life, girl. Because you know what you can't go back and think of? An item your ass broke when you was nine. But you know what you will have? The memory of it forever. <laughs> now it's time to go to bed, Corinne. Good night. <laughs> All right, time for me to go to my study. Hey. The study. The mail and documents and pictures that you collect can be found in the study. Okay, bet. So I can go read uh, my newspaper now. So let me go to my house and read that. Reading. Letters and newspapers will gather over time. Reading many in one sitting will cost one unit of time. Okay. Make sure to empty the recycling tray when it's full. I, I will try. <laughs> I'm very bad um, at remembering things. But let's see what this letter says. All right, I guess I, I oh, this is a crazy way to read a letter. I ain't never had to do this before. All right, in the news, national egg production is in decline. There aren't enough eggs for the export market for what is now the second week in a row. Wow. Debate continues on whether Norwegian officials should stop exporting this essential item. The income is greatly needed, but... Ugh, it's too, it's too, it's too less of the product itself. And, man, I don't know. I might play Super, like, usually catch me on my Twitch page. I definitely play Supermarket Simulator, the, uh, the That's Not My Neighbor, all those good games on there. Um, I stream live Sundays on TikTok, so I'm definitely trying to get, like, all new games and stuff in. I definitely want to, um, 
I definitely want to play it again on TikTok for sure. Supermarket Simulator, we got to get another one of them videos in. So I'm, I'm definitely going to play it soon. I can't give you a day. I can't give you a time. But we, we're going to get back to it, bro. Just catch me on Sunday or catch me on Twitch. I'm live on Twitch now every Friday and Saturday. We play variety gaming on Twitch. So whatever suggestions you have, I got a suggested page on Twitch. Throw them in the comments. I, I take all the suggestions to heart. You know what I'm saying? I love playing games. Supermarket Simulator is one of my favorite games. So <laughs> I'm definitely willing to come back on Twitch and play this. But yeah, it's just depending on how long this game is, really. If this game is real short, we can get we can get a Supermarket Simulator stream in right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but okay, it look like these niggas don't got no eggs. What the fuck going on? They talking about they ain't enough demand or they ain't enough supply for the people. Get them people their eggs. Give everybody one chicken. Now that y'all hear that theory, like, wasn't there like a, a um, there was like a, a study or something, right? Where they like surveyed people of the town and they gave people chickens and like, didn't they have to buy less eggs or some shit? Just give everybody a chicken and they'll be straight. All right, we got anything else to read? Is that it? Okay, shit, we got a photo album. Uh, great moments with Kareen, our store in the studies photo album. Okay, looking through it doesn't cost any time. Press the star to frame the moment. Okay, cool. We having good moments with Kareen. We got to. That's our that's our daughter right there. That's our girl. Oh, she's a baby. <laughs> that's so adorable. Oh, <laughs> Kareen, her first day. I don't know if she going to work with me. Is she going to school? I don't know where she going, but. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh, her. How many candles she got? One, two, three. Say her sixth birthday. You gotta favorite that. Oh, fuck. No. I'm, the baby picture my favorite. She's adorable. The baby picture's too good. <laughs> oh, Her first Christmas. She got her little presents. Oh, Kareem. What else can we do in here? That's it. That's it. All right. Uh, what are we gonna do? Go to the kitchen now? All right. All right, how do we end the day? When you're ready to end the day, go to Kareem's bedroom, tap the lamp to turn the light off. All right. I think that's it. We got all this stuff here. It's nothing. Apparently, I don't need to eat. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about me. I ain't need shit, bro. Can I have a meal, bro? Where the fuck my food at? <laughs> Sis had two sandwiches. I ain't need shit all day. And I just went and read a newspaper and put her pictures on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta say is that they don't really care about us. Cause what the fuck? <laughs> but all right, let, let me let me shut the fuck up and go to bed. I guess this is a parental sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta care more about the child than you do yourself nowadays. Which I, I don't mind. <laughs> I do not mind. I do not mind, man. I do not mind. But let's go ahead and start the day. That was a good day right there. It's Saturday now. Mm, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Karina. Did you sleep well? Karina said, I'm not telling you how I slept. I want a fucking bath, bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Wake up, Karina, by washing her face. Go to the bathroom sink. This is fast and does not cost time units. All right, bet. Let's wash her face, yeah. Karina, it's time to wake up. Boy, Karina got black circles under her eyes. What's going on? <gasps> It's my birthday, it's my birthday. Girl, it is your birthday. We gonna have a ratchet happy birthday today. Turn up, where's Liv at? It's time to go turn up. <laughs> I barely slept all night. Girl, I know, I was in my study. All I heard was you tossing and turning in your bed. I'm trying to put up a favorite picture. You out here tossing and turning in the bed. I can't focus. <laughs> I'm seven years old now, seven. Do I look different? Kareem, you look absolutely beautiful, but no, you, you still look like you're 12. Trust. <laughs> you you ain't gonna grow up to like you, you like 18, Kareem. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> hmm. Right, don't be silly, girl. You don't change overnight. You know that. Hmm. I ain't mean it in no mean way though. I just mean you 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 look like a child, Kareem. You look you look great as ever. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever, don't ever change that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Kareen, when I was looking, when we was looking at the photos, let me go back to my study. Damn, I can't go back to my study. <laughs> if I go back to my study, um, she has six candles on her cake. So this was her last birthday right here. So she just turned seven. 
But let me let me go back to my kid. Let me finish watching your face. Okay, cause you still got black circles under your eyes, sis. <laughs> sis got all these black circles under her eyes. Like uh, these ain't no eyelashes under here. I know that. <laughs> but what did she say she wanted to do? You wanted to go eat? I'm sorry, girl. I wasn't paying attention. Or I, I could change clothes. Wait, do you gotta go to? No, it's a it's a weekend. She ain't gotta go to school. Damn, we ain't got damn, we ain't got no clothes for my good sis. All right. <laughs> Somebody sent you a happy birthday letter, Kareem. Let's read it together. Happy birthday. Sorry I can't be there. Can't wait for school to start so we can hang out every day. You're the best. Liv. P.S. I touched the troll yesterday. Fuck you mean you touched the troll, Liv? What do you mean you touched the troll, Liv? Why are you bringing my daughter around some trolls? <laughs> That don't make no damn sense, but okay. Thank you for sending her the letter, Liv. She appreciates it a lot. <laughs> it is. It is a letter from Liv. <laughs> Kareen, when did you know she saw a troll? Wasn't you there? <laughs> Why you can't play with Liv today? I'll let you go out. Oh, oh, damn. She visiting her aunt right now. I'm sorry to hear that, you know. We definitely going to get Liv. Um, We're going to get Liv out there. <laughs> we going to get Liv out there. I wish you would have told me. If anything, I would have tried to get you on a trip to live. You know what I'm saying? We could have went to Jautenheim. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Jautenheim? <laughs> I don't know what country in Europe that's in. I've never heard of that one before. But damn, I'm sorry that you couldn't spend time with her today. Damn. Hmm. I kind of wish I had an open lips present yesterday. Girl, I was trying to be a good parent. I know. Can we play with the ball she gave me? Please. For the birthday girl, of course. Wow. All right, here you go, girl. Bow. Ha. Bow. <laughs> now we playing catch. You want to play some more? So what should we do now? <laughs> I'm dead. What, what's a Telfer? What you got going on? Crazy. I was crazy once. Then they locked me in a room, a rubber room, with the rats, and the rats made me crazy. No, Topher, you was crazy when they locked you in that room. <laughs> them rats didn't do shit to you. You did shit to them rats. That's why they was in the room with you. <laughs> you was the crazy one. <laughs> Don't try to blame them rats. No, no, no. No, no, no. I know the true story. <laughs> it was your ass in there terrorizing them. And they did what they had to do. Because they're animals. <laughs> But okay, what should we do now for Grinson's birthday, bro? Spare moments, okay. You decide how to spend your day. You only have seven, damn, seven time units per day divided over four time periods. Manage the household and care for the child. Okay, bet. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I don't, you can't blame the rats, Topher. It's you. It's you. It's not the rats. It's you. You're insane. The rats are just a byproduct of your insanity. <laughs> Once you stop being insane, there would be no more rats. <laughs> well, Liz said her mom made a cake for her. Okay, bet. You want to go make a cake? Do you think I could have one? Like, a real, like, like, uh, I really like cake. <laughs> yeah, of course you can have a cake, Liv. <laughs> or, or no, are you sure you don't want no damn cabbage instead? You don't want to grow up, Liv? We can eat some cabbage since you want to be an adult. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, we can we can get you a fresh cake today, sis. We're gonna get you a fresh cake today. And hey, thank y'all for the follow, man. I really appreciate it, man. I be trying to post on TikTok, um, you know, daily or weekly at least. You know what I'm saying? But follow me on Twitch. I'm live on Twitch more often than I am on TikTok, so you can catch me there for longer times there. You know what I'm saying? And I play variety games, so if you ever got a game suggestion, just throw it in the comments, and I would definitely love to look into it. And I think this game is, like, in the World War II times. In the beginning, it said, I think the date stopped at, like, 1945-ish. But it's around, like, uh, I don't know if it's during or after World War II, but it's, like, somewhere, somewhere, I want to say, like, 1945, 1946 type, if you want a specific year. <laughs> but I really can't tell you. I'm not no historian. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't really focused when they started talking about Europe in history class, man. After I heard about the Black Plague, I don't know. I just kind of zoned out because I was like, damn, y'all was, was that nasty? 
they they was pooping and peeing in the streets and then and then eating next to the poop and pee so i just knew after i heard that i i can't i can't whatever was going on in europe would have been beyond me because i would have tried to take a shower and they probably would have killed me because they would have thought i was a witch because i tried to clean myself so <laughs> i i don't history me and history got a a love-hate relationship man <laughs> but my good sis kareem want a soft and mushy cake and she cannot wait i got you sis we're gonna get you that good birthday cake today don't worry we can go shopping tap on the window to get outside there you can find a store in other areas all right bet let's go outside <laughs> hey we back outside Mm, Hitler done made me mad. I shouldn't say that shit, right? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and repent now. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> Where can we go? Is this the store? All right. Um, are you going to tell me what I need to bake or am I just going to have to pay for it? Let's just... Oh, shit. We ain't got no money. <laughs> this is another thing, bro. I'm not good at making financial decisions. Y'all saw how quick I was to buy the store out. Why the fuck am I buying the store out? Did they even tell me to do that? <laughs> Like, what are the ingredients I need to make a cake? <laughs> Why didn't they give me the ingredient list to make a cake? <laughs> Wait, please. Do I? Okay, I, I'm pretty sure we have some of this at home, so I'm just gonna get this. All right, uh, can we go anywhere else? Apparently not. So we're gonna go back home now. Oh shit, there's more places to go. Okay, we can't go here yet, clearly. <laughs> so let's go back home. Damn, girl. Damn. Bro, I came back side. Why is all her clothes black? <laughs> I can't even cap, bro. <laughs> I used to do shit like this when I was a kid, bro. I remember in elementary school, like at one point, I used to like right next door to my elementary school. Like my school was like right here. Like my house was right here. Like literally I could walk from school, just literally go out to school, go down the street, walk down the street to my neighborhood type shit. So we used to walk to school all the time, right? Every time I'd come home from school, my hair would be like messed up. It didn't matter if you like braided my hair, braids be loose. My hair was in a ponytail, hair be crazy, bro. Every time I used to come home from school, my aunt used to ask me, bro, was you fighting them kids in there? Every day, religiously, my aunt be there asking me, did you fight people at school today? Because you came home looking crazy. And I'm like, bro, I just had a good day. <laughs> I just had a good day. Hey man, don't don't talk about that. Cause you wanna know the crazy thing is, I didn't know I had eight cents. I thought we was living lavish. I thought we was good. <laughs> Me on the verge of bankrupt, trying to hire an employee, trying to restock my store. <laughs> like bro, this is crazy. My financial management skills are in the fucking drain, my guy. I need to do better. <laughs> That's why I be playing Supermarket Simulator, bro. If I'm gonna have to run a real business in real life, I'm gonna need to get these skills. So let me let me get them virtually before I put my real money into it and start losing that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I used to be one of the people, man, I tried the little stock market thing. Baby, I'm scared. I lost money putting money in the, uh, the fucking AMC shit when they said do that last time. So I don't, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. I'ma just, I'ma just go to work, go to my nine to five, and collect my check and pay my bills until I find a way to start multiplying that money. You feel me? <laughs> oh man. But oh my god, I was gone for like ten minutes. I went to the store. Sis jumped in muddy puddles already. Who is she, Peppa Pig? Why? How did you even get outside? Who let you? You're only eight. You can't. You, you're only seven. You can't go outside by yourself, Kareen. Uh, I'm sorry. I was playing with the puddles and I got messy. <sighs> we got a woosaw. We can't be mad at her. She's just a child. It's okay. It's okay. Your shirt's all wet, wet Nikki, but it's okay. You got more clothes in the closet. We can, we're going to get you washed up. Okay, Kareem? All right. Seems like I clearly found the closet before they did. It's crazy, because why the fuck don't she take a shower? Like, that's what I... Like, why the fuck the shower not open? How are her clothes dirty, but she not dirty? That don't really make a lot of sense to me, but... Okay, we, we gonna change her clothes. I Y'all y'all see what I be talking about, bro? I just said these... I'm not, I'm not saying people in Europe are dirty. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is... 
she should have took a fucking shower before she changed her clothes. <laughs> Bro, you played in muddy puddles. There's no way you're not dirty, too. You was playing in puddles, Kareen. You're dirty. Why the fuck is her bath icon still still full? But okay, I'm glad you feel good. I'm glad you feel fresh in your new clothes. I, I wouldn't know what that's like. <laughs> I ain't never played in puddles and changed my clothes and felt good. <laughs> I'm dead. I miss it. Be at that age. There was no thing to be in <laughs> Hey, man, sometimes you, hey, <laughs> you just got to laugh at some things, man. That's what I do, man. You got to laugh to keep yourself from crying. Quite literally, bro. But okay, she feel much better in her new clothes. It's okay, sis. Clothes get dirty sometimes. That's just a part of life. You're a child. You're a child, man. I miss it. I be growing and my clothes be dirty. People be looking at me crazy. I'm like, bro, I can't have a little ketchup spill. I'm sorry. I was trying to eat my, my, my Chick-fil-A fries and the, ch the ketchup squirted on me. <laughs> I'm sorry I wore all white today. <laughs> Fuck am I going to do? <laughs> Why are you judging me, though? Y'all don't judge them children. Let me have a moment. <laughs> Let me have a moment. Phew, that's good to know. So, is it nearly time to bake the cake? All right, girl, let's go bake the cake. To make food for Kareem, we gotta go to that kitchen counter. So let's go to that kitchen counter, because it's a little hungry. I'm so excited. I've never helped to bake a cake before. Oh, wow, Kareem, you never baked a cake? You're only, damn, you're seven, you ain't baked a cake? That's crazy. Let's go, Kareem. Cooking. Cooking is easy. Just tap the ingredients. Each item that you cook costs a unit of time. Everything costs time, time, time. Time, time, time. I'm grateful all the time. <laughs> all right. All right. She said she want a mushy cake. You telling me we making this cake with our hands? Ain't no way we just bake the cake like this. There you go, Kareen. There you go. That was really fun. Yay, time for my birthday party. All right, sis, let's go. Mmm. Ate that cake in one bite. God damn. Hungry ass. Yum. That was really tasty. I like cake. Your cake is the best I've ever had. Girl, this is the only cake you've ever had, but I appreciate the compliment. I appreciate you, Kareen. I know what you was talking about. <laughs> like, sis, you, you ain't had cake since you was, you ain't never had cake in your seven years of life. <laughs> but I, it, it came from the heart, Kareem. It came from the heart. I, I know, I know exactly what you meant. <laughs> you got me a present? Girl, Liv was not the only damn person that was gonna get you a present. I'm your mother. Of course I got you a present. Oh, I wonder what it is. Well, why don't you open it? Let's find out, because I want to know, too. <laughs> you are right. You definitely are right. She definitely had a cake in her picture. <laughs> she, I guess she just didn't help bake that cake last time. So, yeah, I guess she, I guess she, it still came from the heart. You're definitely right. <laughs> My cake better be the best, Kareem even though it looked like the same cake last time, but I, I guess I wasn't your mama back then, so it was a different cake. But okay, we got her some drawing pencils, got some colored pencils. Girl, I wanna see some drawings now. We need some more art for our fridge, Kareen. We need more art, so make sure, make sure you draw me some. <laughs> of course I remember. Ooh. And guess what, girl? You can use them at school next week because you're going back. <laughs> One thing I hate about being adult, I hate about being an adult, right? It's like, so I drive and I hate like, I'd be like, ooh, let me go to the store at like eight o'clock in the morning when nobody's there. The store just open, it's gonna be nobody in the aisles. I leave out my house, I start driving. Why the fuck is there a school bus on the street? Oh God, I hate school buses so bad, bro. I'd be like, bro, I got a school bus ticket one time for running a stop sign. Y'all don't even want to know how much that ticket was. Baby, I will never do that shit again. I, I be saying F them kids, but baby, you will never see me run no school bus sign. They be having them, them, them school zone speeding cameras. Baby, I'm not speeding in that zone. Baby, they got me. 
Imagine you run the stop sign for a school bus, right? Imagine you run the stop sign in January. Baby, you're not getting that ticket till March. And then in March, you're only gonna have like two weeks to pay that ticket. So I ran it in January. I've been living cool ever since, right? Two months living great. I'm sitting here living life thinking I'm good. I look in the mailbox. You owe the Fulton County or it was like some like district in Arizona. I don't even know cause I live in Georgia. So I'm like, why am I paying the Arizona school district for running a school? I this shit was so confusing but it was a 250 dollar ticket i almost like bro bro I, shit we all in america living paycheck to paycheck where am i getting 250 from and then i gotta give 250 to the kids oh like i was ready to i was ready to like the, the whole government blow it up let me not say that tiktok i'm sorry i didn't mean that let me, I was, ooh, I was just ready to, ooh, like, I, I ain't never ran a stop sign since. Baby, I don't care if the school bus don't have the stop sign out. I'm stopping. I don't care. I don't care if it's a median in the street. I'm stopping. I'm never running a parked school bus that's dropping off kids again. I'm sorry, bro. And they caught me in 4K. I went online to view my ticket. They was like, yeah, we got you in video evidence. It's a camera on the damn bus. Okay, I was like, y'all got it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you're right, it was my fault. <laughs> it was fucking my fault. <laughs> my bad, I'll never do that shit again. <laughs> but, oh, I'm sorry, Kareen girl, it's your birthday. It's supposed to be about you, I'm making it about me. <laughs> oh yeah, I nearly forgot, girl, I can't wait. Yeah, you're gonna be in school next week. I I'm ready for that one. I'm ready for that one. Girl. You are always welcome. You are my child. I love you. Anything you ask for, it's not a it's not a problem for me. Oh, I know. Let's try them now. You can help color in my drawing. Okay, I guess we're not using them next week. I don't see why I told her she was gonna use them at school when she could clearly use them at home. I agree. Let's go to your room and draw. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> uh listen. Your parents should be ready for next week, bro. If I was ever a parent, babe, well, I can't even say that. Cause like in this generation, I'm not sending my kids to public school. That's just that. Not to say that I would send them to private school. I think I wanna homeschool my kids or I wanna find like some like type of community schooling. I feel like we need to bring the community back, bro. It's too many, like bro, ain't no way I'm living in the neighborhood. My neighbor or doctor and and, and his, his wife a teacher or something. No, I'm sending my kid to my neighbor. Go go learn over there. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just want some, like, community basis, something that's real foundational. And public school ain't fucking that. So it's either private school or homeschool for my children. <laughs> so, uh, oh, trust me. Maybe I'm sending their ass to school. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to be the happiest adult in the world, bro. I love sending the kids to school. Damn, I hate when y'all come back. God damn it. <laughs> Oh shit, what type of coloring is this? All right, <laughs> I just tapped the screen. All right, bet. Yeah, you good, man. Go do your thing. I appreciate you you spending your time here. You know what I'm saying? Handle your business. <laughs> Come back whenever you need to. I will be live. <laughs> but okay, we got our little picture done with Kareem. That was fun. I did enjoy that, Kareem. I'm glad you like your new pencils too. That, that, I'm like, listen. <laughs> You want to stay up, girl? You don't want your birthday to end? I'm down for that one. I'm down for that one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Bedtime for me. Then she said, oh, I might grow in my sleep more. You're right. I should go to bed. <laughs> you're right. I should go to sleep. That does make sense. That's how you got to trick them kids. That's one thing I, I love about kids, bro. So when I was in Grenada, um, I have like my... um my my cousin has children so she has a daughter right and like well they don't smoke but we seen like an ashtray in like one of the souvenir shops we went to so i was like ooh, i'll tell my cousin he should get one of these and like my little cousin my little my second cousin my uh whatever she was like she was like what is it and i was like damn she can't know that 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 we partake in in illicit activities so i was just like oh no nah, this, this is like a coin train this ain't an ashtray. This a coin tray. You know, you put your little trinkets and your coins in here, girl. 
bro, what? <laughs> sometimes you just got a lot of them kids. <laughs> them kids don't know. <laughs> They'll learn one day. Sometimes you just got a lot of them, though. Not every day, just some days. <laughs> some days. Some days. Damn, I was trying to make a poll for this thing. Let me see if I can get that in there real quick. Nope. But all right, she's going to bed. She want to grow more, so go to bed, sis. Damn. Today was really fun. I'm glad you had a good time, Kareem. Did you have a good birthday? I really did. Thank you. We had so much fun. Girl, let us no problem. I just wish Liv could have been here, though. I know. Me too. But we know Liv was visiting her family, and, and Liv sent you a card. So we know that Liv definitely does care about you. And when Liv comes back, I'm sure we can plan something special for you guys to do together. Do you think I'll get any more presents? Hey, girl, we're just going to have to wait and see. Oh, that would be the best. All right, good night, Kareem. Oh, you want to read a bedtime story? Okay, that's fine. Sure, anything for you, sis. Story time. To read a story, tap the book until Kareem falls asleep. Reading costs one time unit. All right. Ooh, horses and knights. Ooh, more horses and knights. More horses and knights. Ooh, she fell asleep. Good job, Kareem. Good night. I love ya. Love ya. Let me, let me go outside. Why the fuck the window ain't open? Why can't I go outside? I'm grown. Let me look at the photo book. Got her baby picture still. Okay, first day of school, sixth birthday, present. Aww. We got a new picture, y'all. Look, it's her with her colored pencils and her mushy cake. That's so sweet. Looks like we don't have any new mail or anything like that. Nope. All right, let's go. Yep, no new mail, so let's go turn off that light. Another day. Another day. Another day. Good morning. And thank y'all for the likes on the live. I really do appreciate it. Good morning, Kareen. How are you? <gasps> School starts on Tuesday. What fucking day is it? Is it Tuesday yet? Is it Tuesday? <laughs> is it Tuesday yet? Just one more day. Oh, damn, it's Monday. Fuck! Fuck, it's Monday. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I wanted it to be Tuesday so bad. <laughs> Why wasn't it Tuesday? Just one more day. Oh, I could barely wait. Uh, what are we doing today, girl? All right, let's play catch real quick. Play a little catch. Hey. Know what I'm saying? Get a little exercise in. Oh, you're hungry right now? Let's get you some food in that. Sorry. Um, nom. Um, maybe could we have some different food soon? We eat this a lot. I miss having warm dinners. So apparently I'm unemployed. <laughs> Damn, he said don't let her ruin her clothes. No, see, that's why I was telling her she should have took a bath. She should have took a bath. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna let her dirty these clothes up then because I did think this was her school uniform so I did not let her change when I found the closet but she the one got herself dirty by jumping in them damn puddles so thank you for that tip I'll keep that in mind because <laughs> she got school on Tuesday she said she got school tomorrow so today gotta be Monday so I'm gonna try to keep this clean today you're right we eat this a lot I miss having warm dinners um yeah I, I know I know girl I'll try I'm trying my best I gotta look for a job, Kareem. I, I didn't have no job. Apparently you can adopt a kid without having a job. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's crazy, like, one scoop is like a whole bowl? Hold on, what? Okay. Since it's, oh, it is Sunday today. I thought, why? Okay, I guess school starts on Monday, my bad. <laughs> Since it's Sunday today, how about we go explore the forest? You don't always have to buy things. We can find food, too. Which is good since the store is always closed on Sundays. The outdoors. New area unlocked outside. Lake and forest. A 
Okay, go, go put all your dirty clothes. Put on your dirty clothes. She can't change her clothes now or something? Like, what's going on? <laughs> now she can't change her clothes? Like, come on. I guess we're going to the forest. The forest. Forest food. Pick flowers, pine cones, and even build a snowman for one time. A unit each. Wild animals very rarely appear. Tapping to feed them doesn't cost any units. All right, let's see what that does. Oh, look, so many things to pick. We got some blueberries. We found you, little berries. Got a little mushroom. She already dirty, bruh. She already fucking dirty. It's already too fucking late. You can't say I didn't try. You can't say I did not try to change her outfit. I dead ass was in that closet trying to pick up that dirty outfit so bad. It's already too late. Well, we found all the mushrooms, Kareem. Um, let's go back to the forest. Is there anything else for us to explore? Is there anything else? Oh, okay, there's more of the forest. All right, we got more mushrooms. And more and more dirty. Got a little pine cone thing. I don't know how the fuck you cook a pine cone, but, but okay. <laughs> I guess that's something else we got. Oh, a new crafting material. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, anything else in this photo? No, I do not see anything else we could pick up. Nothing in the trees. Nothing behind her. Alright, I think that's it. Is there anything else we can explore here? It does not look like it. So let's go back home. This is what you need. You need to be cleaned. Oh, now y'all let me change her outfit. Like, I don't even understand. Now they let me change her outfit. Okay, let me, let me put on your own clothes, bro. Like, it ain't dirty. Mess me up. Y'all telling me I don't have enough time to do it? Is she not ready to go to bed yet? <laughs> we need more workers at the old factory. Steady job Monday to Saturday. Apply. All right. I read your ad for factory work and hereby wish to apply. I am a very hard worker who would be very grateful for a steady job. Please consider me for your position. <laughs> All right, Colleen, you're sleepy. Let's send you to bed. There you go. So, I was drawing today, and I had an idea. I can help a certain money. We can sell my drawings. That's a good idea, Korean, but I'm not putting the pressure of an adult on you. So, you can sell your drawings. I just won't be taking your money. <laughs> exactly. Like, girl, don't, don't think about that. <laughs> you don't need to worry about them bills, bro. Let, let me get the job, Kareem. You, you, if you want to draw pictures and sell shit, you do that and you keep that money and you do what you want with it. I <laughs> uh, sure hope so. I need a job, man. We ain't got, we ain't, we got 150 coins. If I go to the store one more day, we ain't gonna eat for the rest of the week. <laughs> hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. I can help. A story before sleep would be nice. Do you have time? Kareen, of course I have time. <gasps> Have time. I didn't think this game was gonna make me sad for real. I don't have no time. I don't want to tell her no. Let me read the book, please. Damn, Kareen, I'm sorry. 
it's too late, Kareem. It's what, what's what's the the least harshest way to let her down? It's past your bedtime. No, I don't want to say no. No is too too direct. I'm just saying it's too late, Kareem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have bad time management skills. Oh, okay then. Good night then. Good night, Kareem. Wait, let me let me go to my study. Can I do anything else? All right. No new pictures. Like what? What am I supposed to do with this food? I have no clue. But apparently, I have no time units. So I, I probably can't do shit. With it, so let's just save the day. Send my good sis off to school tomorrow. It's Monday. All right. I hope today will be nice. Liv is back today. See your friends back today. You didn't get no bedtime story, but you woke up to a good, good thing. She said I can go play with her at noon. Okay, bet. Good looks. Okay, bet. Your job application. We are happy to offer you a job at our factory. Please start at your earliest convenience from August 21st. Sorry, right, so that's Tuesday. Today's Monday. Bet. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. What does it say? Um... I'm gonna start a new job, and I'm gonna be able to provide for us, Kareem. Even though I'm gonna be away, I, which you which you probably don't understand yet. <laughs> you know, I wanna help provide too. I I don't know why you what you gonna help with, Kareem. You're you're like seven. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Worry about that when you're all grown up. You should be having fun. Well, I do like things that are fun. Okay, you're right. I agree. Uh, should we be sending you up to school now? We, we ain't got no food, apparently. Just like in the forest. I don't know what it's like that's supposed to be. Okay. Apparently we ain't, we ain't got nothing food. Okay, wait. Okay, we can make some. We make some. <gasps> that's how we do it. All right. Bet. I, I said I was going to fix your old clothes soon? They got holes in them? Oh, okay. I'm leaving now. I'll be careful. Bye. Huh? Kareem? Kareem? Oh, now you ain't just go to school without me. Like, you didn't, you didn't even let me drop you off? It looked like she, she already done went to school. All right, let's, let's throw some of her clothes up, I guess. Okay, you're right. Damn. I need paying attention to my own kid. <laughs> I ain't paying attention to my own damn kid, bro. Is it Sunday? Is it Monday? I have no clue. <laughs> you're right. Okay, you said it's 12. So that means it's 12 noon. All right, you had a great time with Liv. I hit a drawing for you. See if you can find it. All right, let me just be so first. Okay, then I'll go look for your drawing. Actually, I guess you're going to do two for two. Oh, damn. Damn, I used all my time. I didn't find... Let, let me go find her shit. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me go... Fuck. Okay, we're going to put you to bed. I found it. Okay. Oh. That's so sweet, Kareem. Thank you. Thank you for that drawing. All right, time to go to bed. When I wake up, I will be a schoolgirl. You sure will be. I... I wonder what it's going to be like at school. Um, yeah, stop worrying. I don't think you're do great. You're going to do great, girl. You don't need to know what's going to happen. You just need to go and experience what it is. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't need to worry about all that. Okay, you're probably right. I'll work hard. I promise. Could you read me a bedtime story? Of course. I'm, I'm glad we got time today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for last night, Kareem. Ooh, we got a little nigga in the Got a little new All right, good night. Good night, Kareem. We got a new photo in here. That's sweet. I'm gonna hang that one up. Her and her little bestie. It's her bestie, Miss Miss Liv. <laughs> oh damn, we ain't got no time. Is they said they said go to bed. All right. They said end the day. <laughs> they said end the day. All right, it's August 21st. It's Tuesday. Today is her first day of school, apparently. Apparently, school do not start on a Monday over here. <laughs> Today is the day. I'm starting school like a big girl. So how about we get ready for your big day then? Mm-hmm. I'm almost ready to go. Yeah, you got to clean up and change your outfits. Oh, and it's your first day at your new job, too. 
girl. How could I forget? We're gonna get some money coming in. We probably we finna get that money on. Yeah, that makes sense. It's August, finna be September, so yeah. School gotta be coming to an end. I just wonder why it starts on a Tuesday. That threw me off. I'm sitting here like it's Saturday, but you say you I, I was probably just thinking. I was overthinking it. <laughs> Maybe soon we could afford a nice backpack to carry my school books. I think I saw one in the shop. Uh now that sounds like a great idea. That sounds that sounds awesome. Yay, I'm gonna get a backpack. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I would hate going to school on like the middle of the week. Like that would irritate me so much. Like I be seeing the holidays now. Like that's how they do school nowadays where I am. Like they'll they'll go back on like a, a Friday or a Thursday. Like I'm not going back to school on a Friday to just go back into the weekend. That's just not happening. Mommy, I'm staying home. <laughs> I'm not going to school on Friday because what the fuck are they going to teach me? They not going to start a new lesson on Friday. There's no way. <laughs> But I, I guess Thursday, it's still the beginning of the week, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip my mouth and I'm gonna let the game do its thing. Yay, I'm gonna get a backpack. Girl, I hope so. I hope this job, you can afford us one. Okay, go ahead, take a bath. We're not sending you to school with Pinky, bro. They're not gonna be at that school bullying you because you don't. Uh, let's go change your outfit. Alright, actually, you're gonna wear this one. This one is, well, we're gonna, uh, this one looks like a school outfit to me, so you're gonna wear that. Um, uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, see, I would have been like, just, the holiday is lasting the whole week. Ain't no way I'm sending my baby to school on a Friday for me to go pick him up and be with them for, for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> okay, I'm glad they canceled it, because that made absolutely no sense. You telling me my kid was home from Monday till Thursday and you want me to go drop him off on Friday? What are you going to teach them? Like I said, nobody is going to start a new lesson. Them kids are going to be in school watching movies all day. And that's fine. Like, that's fine. Like, if you really got to see your kids, fine, whatever. But, like, that, that don't make logical sense to me. Like, you're going to have to have the kids on the weekends regardless. The school is not going to be open on the weekends. So why would the school open on just a Friday? So they, they, I don't know what type of money they was trying to get from the government. I don't know what they had going on in their head when they did that one. Because that don't even make sense. Like, as a teacher, I wouldn't even want to come into school on no Friday after having the whole week off. Do you think you could walk me to school? Girl, of course. What? I can't walk her to school? <laughs> uh... I don't think, okay, okay, I can walk her halfway to school. I don't think I can, but how about we walk some of the way together? Really? Thanks. You're the best. Karina, I try. I try, man. I try. All right, let's go to school. All right, we done made it to the halfway point. Thank you for walking me here. The school is really big, isn't it? It, it kind of is, but girl... <laughs> all right yeah be strong be confident and show everyone how smart you are well i guess i am pretty smart um let me look at the time it's gonna be six my boyfriend's probably gonna pop up in a minute so let me tell him i'm fucking streaming so he doesn't scare me when he comes into the house because <laughs> that would be so so uh, not great well, I guess I am pretty smart. Oh, Liv is waiting for me. Bye. Oh, well, now you ain't nervous no more. You see your friends and you 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 ain't got the jitters no more. <laughs> that girl said, I see Liv. Bye. Deuces. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let me, let me go to the store first. Let me see. Let me see what they got. Damn. Okay, we ain't got enough money. We don't need no cones, so I ain't getting that. But I, I am going to buy, buy some, some real food. Oh, shit, I didn't buy it. I am going to We're not feeding. We're not eating toast tonight. And we're going to work. So, listen, we... No, no, they took both of our time units. <laughs> no, I want to work overtime. We need more money. But, okay, we're going to go home now. Green made it home from school. Okay, all right. It's nice to see you. You made it home. But what? what's wrong? What's wrong, Kareem? School was strange and not nice at all 
I was trying to make some friends, but... Well, everybody kept staring at me, and they didn't talk to me. What? What is wrong with them kids? They were really nasty. You said it would be fun, but it wasn't. Okay, bro. Uh, apparently, we got bullies at the school, bro. Uh, can I go to the school and beat them up? Is that what we gotta do now? Cause what the fuck? What the fuck, y'all telling me y'all don't like my daughter for? She ain't do shit. We got this beautiful, this beautiful child right here. The fuck is you bullying her for? Where's your friend Liv at? Did she stand up for you? Was Liv also a part of the people that uh made your day not enjoyable? Cause we can go ahead and fix that right now, Kareem. We can go fix that right now. Oh. That's dreadful that but their parents would let them be so nasty. Exactly, Kareem. We gonna raise you right. I don't like them at all. They're mean and stupid. I don't know if we should say all that now, but let's, let's, no, no, uh, ain't I'm bullying my girl Kareem. Why would I be able to favorite this one? Why can I favorite this one? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Let's get you something to eat, Kareem. Munch, munch. Could you help me look in my book? My teacher might ask someone to answer questions tomorrow. Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. The book is in my room. Ready? Here we go. If Lynn and Pierre each had an apple, and Lynn gave Pierre her apple, how many apples would Pierre have? Pierre would have two apples. Yes, that's what I thought too. Okay, next one. If Pierre ate one of his apples, how many apples would he have left? We're going to say one apple. Mm-hmm. All right, last one. If Pierre's mom brings four more apples and she tells Pierre and Lynn to share all the apples fairly, then how many apples should Pierre give to Lynn? He should give her two apples. But Pierre already had two apples from before, so that wouldn't be fair. Thank you for helping me. I, I'm a little confused on that one. Maybe I read that question wrong, but we, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Uh, we're gonna make you some food. Bro. We're gonna make you some soup. Yawn. I'm so tired after today. I could sleep a whole week. Can we, can we get you to eat real quick? Munch, munch, munch. Thank you for eating, Queen. You can go to bed now. I'm not sure I like school. Even the teacher, Miss Hansen, seemed kind of mean. Growing up means learning to face the challenges you face. Maybe I've changed my mind. Maybe I don't want to be a grown up after all. Well, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? It's too late, Kareem. Sorry. Good night, Kareem. Have a great night. Yep, and I have no time. No time. Can I make some food? Nope. They said just turn off the light. Damn, my sister did not have a good first day at school. What? What's wrong with Liv? Other kids have backpacks for their books. There, there are much more important things we gotta spend our money on right now, Corinne. Like I gotta make sure you got food. Like if I, if I get a check in the mail for like forty more dollars, I'll get you a backpack. Look at all this mail. All right, let's get you washed up. Got you washed up. All right, let's get you some food. Let's get you some food in your belly. Let's get you some food in your belly. Damn, I ain't got, damn, I ain't got no time. I'm not sure that I want to go. But I have to, or Liv will be on her own. Maybe the kids will be nicer if I was like them and had a backpack. The other kids all have one. I will get you a backpack, I promise you. But only for school. Hopefully, hopefully we get paid today. Okay, we got paid, we got paid, we got paid. We finna spend our last to get good sister backpack. 
We're gonna get you a backpack, sis. Here you go. Green, that's how much I love you. I was willing to spend my last to get you that backpack so you can feel better at school. You making me feel like them parents when they got that Stanley Cup. But let me tell you something, bro. If my kid come home talking about something, they bully me because I got a Yukon Outfitters cup. I wish I had my cup up here. Matter of fact, I'm finna go get my shit right now. We gotta fucking. Sorry, we don't, we don't play Stanleys in here. Yeah, see, I'm already broke, bro. You see? My financial, like, what? <laughs> at least we got food at home, and now my guess has got a backpack. But I'm gonna go run downstairs real quick and grab my uh, my freaking lemonade real quick. So I'm gonna BRB real back, real quick. <laughs> and I'll be back shortly. me I love me some good old buckies this cup so beautiful even though this ain't the land of the free you know what I'm saying but yeah my child ever come talking about some she's getting bullied because she got a Bucky's Yukon Outfitters cup bro I'm sorry sis I, I guess you just gonna have to go over them kids head with this cup cuz I'm not getting you no damn Stanley that's for sure you're gonna be happy when all them kids have lab poisoning and don't show up to school one day and you're the only one at school. You're gonna thank me so much. <laughs> so maybe I should have stood up and not gave her that backpack, but she can carry her books in the backpack, so it, it's worth it, it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna use it for school. What happened this time, but what's, what's going on? <gasps> Somebody called you a bad word? They said I'm a bastard. Because I don't have a real family. That's crazy, bro. That That's so wrong, Kareen. And I'm so sorry that you had to experience somebody that would commentate on your life situation when you have a family. Yeah, we might not be the typical family. Yeah, we might not be the faces that everybody's used to seeing, but... We have a bond and we have a love and we care for each other and that's all that matters when people come together at the end of the day. That's so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> oh, they lied. They fucking lied, Kareem. You ain't no bastard. You ain't no bastard. Trust. Trust and believe. You come from a loving home. Because let me tell you something. I know a lot of kids that have their mommy and their daddy at home and them niggas don't get no love. How you at home with your mama and your daddy and they both don't like you? <laughs> like what you know why they said that to you because they parents probably treat them like shit so they feel like a bastard at their own home exactly Kareen has me on her side bro with me on her side we can't lose we can't lose <laughs> I'm a black woman in 1946 somewhere in Europe bro we apparently we, we living it up <laughs> they were wrong oh so I guess they lied yes yes the fuck they did lie I'm glad you like our family. I do too. <laughs> uh-uh, see, that's one thing I'll never teach my kids. If somebody is mean to you, that do not mean they like you, sis. 
maybe it's no reason no no little boy should be hitting my daughter and that's because he likes her oh hold on hold on bro because at that point i'm telling my daughter okay go beat his ass since since you like him so much now i'm telling my daughter to fight back i'm telling my daughter to fight back you want to put your hands on kids okay i'm telling my daughter yeah Square up with that little six-year-old. I don't care. <laughs> I'm starting that kid fight club. I don't care. I won't say nothing about it. <laughs> don't ask why them kids coming home with black eyes. My daughter's just doing her thing. <laughs> but hell no. Nah. You you do not need to hit nobody to let you know you like them, bro. Please write a note. I don't know. <laughs> but keep your hands to yourselves. <laughs> oh. But they have a mom and a dad. No one got left behind. Who are my parents? I want to know. You promised me. You said you'd tell me when I was big, and now look, I'm big now. You're not big, bitch. You're still a little baby. You're not big. Mm -mm, shut that one down right now. Why? Why would they call me a bastard? I don't, I don't know, Kareem. It just means, I don't know, Kareem. Yeah, I'm sitting here wondering what was the explosion too. I, I don't know, bro. I guess we are not focused on that one. <laughs> we are focused on why Kareen is uh <laughs> is being called the B word at school. <laughs> um, like, girl, like you're you're too young to worry about these things. Like, why does she wanna? Okay. Oof. No, I don't agree. You have to promise to find them. Okay, I'll promise. I'll try. I'll finally know who my parents are. Contact Corinne's biological mother. What's that? Guess. Is it a backpack? It is, isn't it? It is! It is! Oh, oh now you want to be happy. Corinne. I told you I was going to get you a backpack, didn't you? So, so why you didn't just come home and, and get your backpack and be happy? Why you, had to, why you had to fucking throw me under the bus first? Corinne said... They call me a bastard at school. Where my mama and daddy at? You don't love me, bitch. Give me my backpack. Okay. Kareem, you, you lucky. You're lucky you're seven. You're still working on controlling your emotions and, and regulating your tone and everything. So I'm going to let it slide. <laughs> I'm going to let it slide, Kareen, okay? For now. It is a backpack. I got one. Just, just like I promised you, Kareen. I went to work today. I worked very hard, and I spent my last on this backpack. I I'm so glad you appreciate it. And I'm gonna need you to take very good care of this backpack, Karina. It's very expensive. Please, 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 please take care of it. You're smart and you're a beautiful girl and you have done well in school. So in order for you to do even greater, I want you to have something that can lighten your load. So you're welcome. You deserve it, Kareen. I can't wait to show this to Liv. That's great, girl. I hope you and Liv got matching backpacks and shit, and shit now. You got food? All right, chomp chomp. Hey, let's play. What would you like to play, Kareem? Should we play hide and seek or should we draw or should we go outside? Um, I said let's go outside. Wow. Where can we play outside? Okay, we go to the forest. We got some more blueberries. Okay, apparently we didn't play that long. <laughs> we did not play that long. It's getting late. We should probably go back home. We had a lot of fun though, Kareem, so that's all that matters. <gasps> it's not dirty. It's not dirty. <laughs> it's not dirty. Like she she ain't getting bullied at school because her uniform dirty. Hey, let's get you cleaned up before you go to bed. <laughs> let's get her cleaned up. Okay, we don't have no more time. <laughs> so sorry. School is different to what I expected. The other kids aren't as fun as I thought. But maybe learning new things will be fun. Learning new things is always fun, Kareem. You're only a child. You haven't experienced much in life yet, Kareem. Yes, you've had some bad experience. Don't, don't, don't think that we haven't recognized those and understood things you've gone through in your past. But... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got this bond that we're building and we're gonna we're gonna get through whatever we need to get through together, Kareen. Just know you're not alone. You're not alone in whatever you do, Kareen. You're not alone. 
I am here. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. You'll do great. And don't let them other kids distract you, girl. We're locked in like this. You like them with this. Me, you, and Liv, we like this. We're locked in. So don't even worry about it, Kareem. Things will change now that I'm all grown up, huh? I'm gonna need you to stop saying you're grown up, bit. You're not grown up. You're a little girl. You're a child. You'll never be grown up until you're like 45. And that's like 100 years away from your age right now. So you will always be my little baby. And you need to go and, and be a little kid and go to school and get your education and have fun and enjoy living your life right now. And let me take care of you, please and thank you. Please. <laughs> Like, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about these things. Please, like, don't. <laughs> On me, bro. Like, I'm waiting to meet Liv. Like, Liv done visit her auntie. Liv done went out of town. Like, when is Liv coming to my house? Do Liv, her parents don't got, like, a horse she can ride over here in or something? <laughs> Where is Liv? <laughs> I am pretty big now. Exactly. Listen, you're, you're going to always be just right to me, Kareem. You're never going to grow up in my eyes. <laughs> you're just right, too. You take good care of me, and I'll take care of you, too, now that I'm big. I'm sorry if I made you upset. You didn't make me upset. You didn't make me upset at all, Kareem. I understand the fact that you want to know about your past history. Of course, everybody has a mom and a dad, and you have every right to know what happened to that situation in your past and why you're here now? But also we have to be grateful for the things that we do have in our life. So even though we still have a lot of things to figure out in our past, Kareem, we still have a lot of things to be grateful for today in the present and now. So I, I totally agree. I will try my best to work on getting in contact with your parents, with your mother, Kareem, and learning about who they are so I can explain that situation to you. And I, I totally agree. I, I will see what I can find out, Kareem. But now it's time for you to go to bed. I'm sorry. It's past your bedtime. Good night, Kareem. Have a great night. Uh, where's the journal? I know I don't have no time, so I probably shouldn't look at it, but. Okay, I can't look at it. Today, I promised that I would find out more about your parents, but I don't know if I'll be able to find the answers you hope for. So I'm starting this journal. I'll give it to you when you're old enough to understand. If I can't learn the story of your parents, at least you'll know I tried, and you'll know more about the war, about what happened afterward. All right, this is what I know. Three years ago, I answered an ad in the newspaper saying three-year-old child up for adoption reference war child i dearly wanted a child uh what the heck i lost my plate so as i hope you know in your heart your mother told me that your father was a german soldier and that she was only 15 and unmarried when she had you in 1944 all right so she was born in 1944 she refused to say more she had married a man from the resistance and made a promise to keep you away from her new life wow damn I'm gonna turn off these lights. Today is now August 23rd, a Thursday. It's a brand new day. Good morning. Got a new letter. The factory's understaffed. Due to understaffing, we will ask you occasionally to work overtime with increased compensation. Overtime work will end in the evening. All right, let's uh, go to the bathroom. Let's wash the face first. Picture of her backpack. Oh, that's so cute. All right, we'll get you a snack. Um, nom. And I think my boyfriend's home, so I might be getting off to hang out with him for a little bit. But I will pop back up at like nine and ten o'clock. So I'm probably gonna hear the door open in a few seconds. So I'ma finish this day up and then I'ma hop off stream. But I will be back on TikTok Live probably like at 9, 10 p.m. today. We're going to do a late night stream. And I probably might play Supermarket Simulator. So, hey, if you up, come join the simulation. 
<laughs> All right. She done ate her food. Let's go change her clothes now. Your backpack? Yeah, girl, it's so pretty. You look good. You look good in that backpack. It fits good. You got all your shit in there. Period. Let's go. All right. You don't want to be late for school, girl. You got to put your school clothes on. Okay, clearly we ain't got enough credits to do that. <laughs> sis says she don't give a fuck what she go to school in. Okay, I hope they don't bully you because your clothes dirty, sis. <laughs> Uh, let's do some overtime tonight. We're just gonna do it tonight. Damn. She finna be like, oh damn, she was waiting for me. <laughs> Said, who's my biggest fan? Kareem's my biggest fan. Sis was waiting for me. I was doing overtime. Sis stayed up. You can go to sleep, Kareem. Let me just let me just get you clean up for you. Like, you ain't even had no food. <laughs> She ain't even had no food or nothing yet. And I ain't even got no food ready for her. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey. I'm good. How are you? Huh? Oh, we're doing pretty good. I'm playing this game on my iPad that I found. You're gonna be on camera if you want to dance. I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off in like 10 minutes. Alright. No, we didn't have no food for my good sis. She going to bed hungry. <laughs> I feel so fucking bad. I guess we're just going to bed. I'm sorry, Kareem. I found some sticks on my way home from school. Have a look. Maybe we can make something with it. A story before sleep would be nice. Do you have some time? It's past your bedtime. I'm sorry, Kareem. Aw. Good night, then. A new journal has been added. All right. I have written your mother. She might want to help, although she doesn't want contact. It's hard to understand why a mother would abandon her child, but many of the mothers who had children with German soldiers did indeed give them away. It is thought around 12,000 such children were born in Norway during World War II. Most of them to young women and teenagers, just like your mother. I got a lot of letters I need to read, so tomorrow we're not working overtime. Tomorrow we just we we, <laughs> we we gotta cook food. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Neighbor council, this is a warning. We have numerous complaints about a German language being spoken in the neighborhood. This is unacceptable and has to be stopped immediately. Damn. All right, let me. Yeah, I should make her a blueberry sandwich. Or hopefully, hopefully, actually, this will be enough, bro. Hopefully, okay, half your, that's half your stomach full right there. Good, good job, Kareem. All right, uh, let's go. Get you up real oh, okay, we have no more time. Your backpack's really nice. I'm glad you like it, Kareem. I hope it's taking all that weight and stress off of your shoulders. Let's go ahead and get you to school and let me go to work. Bam, bam. The day's over. We went to school. We're going home today. Uh, do we need anything from the store? Let's, let's get her a comb and let's get, mm, let's get some of this. All right, let's go home. I'm home. I learned a lot today. That's great, Kareen. What did you learn 